Ok, guys, today I'm here with Marcos Tinoco. Uh, Marcos, in my opinion, he has the best lasso guard I ever saw in Jiu Jitsu. When he does the lasso guard, he has a, such a strong grip that's really hard to move. And I'm not, even, I'm not even talking about only the lasso. When he's on board on guard, he has the strongest grip I ever saw. I would say, like, him and Michael Langer, the two guys who had like, the strongest grip when they were on board that I ever saw in Jiu Jitsu. And Marcos this year just won the Europeans a black belt, and his curriculum is great. He got third place in the black belt awards last year. He got second place as a purple belt in the open class. He won the awards as a brown belt, and now third place as a black belt, won the European, so super, super high level. And he has a really strong grip when he's on board. So today I'm gonna ask him to show us what's the main detail he used to have such a strong grip when he's playing guard on board. So he's gonna show us from the close guard, the easiest way possible to show, and let's see how he does it. Alright guys, uh, we're gonna start here in the close guard so you guys can understand where I'm coming from. So one very simple detail that I like to do, it's not just make a grip right here and try to settle my arm right there and let my partner push, pull against my grip. First thing I like to do is follow him, whatever he does with his hands, so keep my grip in the action. So whatever he do, this time he like to stand the state better. So whatever he try to go under or over, I'm gonna try to follow the grip. It's there, it's simple like that. So that's the first thing I wanna do. I want, I cannot try to force my grip against his pull. I wanna follow his movement so I can keep my grip longer. And the second detail that I believe the most important. I like to make my grip again open with my thumb and fold my knuckles in. So I'm gonna keep my both hands in and I'm gonna try to knuckle right there. So whatever he does, I'm gonna follow my grip. It's not even about strength, it's about weight. So then when you grip, you fold the knuckles and keep everything tight. And that's all about the big grip and keep my thumb outside, keep my thumb outside and follow the movement. So you gotta combine the, this grip with also your legs, so try to keep it busy and forget the grip break. And now it's it. Yeah. Guys, that makes a lot of sense because every time someone's playing guard against me, for example, the main thing I do to break the grip is always this and then break it. So I always go like outside and then I break it. So what Marcus does, every time that someone tries to go outside, he follows the guy look, and the guy never gets to go there, so he's always following this grip, right? So there is no way like to break that easy. And then when he when he does this thing that he said that he pushes it in, it feels really strong. Look, I barely can move my arm. So it's a very good tip to keep the grip when you're on water. So push the fingers in and follow the guy's hand, but doesn't never let the guy do deals with it. So very good one. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you. Oops.